Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to review the XP Pen Artist 12 Pro Pen Display. I have already made an unboxing video for this, so to see all the things that are included, you just have to watch that video. Link is in the video description below. Basically, all the things included, they are the same as those you will find with the Artist 13.3. Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you the size difference between 12 Pro and 13.3 Pro, driver functionality and also the drawing test on this pen display. This review is going to be long, so if you want to jump to different sections of the video, you can do so using the timestamps provided in the video description below. Alright, let's take a look at the Artist 12 Pro. If you don't know what is a pen display, it's essentially a monitor that has a very flat form factor that makes it look like a tablet but it's not a tablet it's actually a monitor so as with other monitors you need to connect it to your computer in order to use this so when you take this out from the packaging they will show you this um, note here that tells you that there is a protective film pasted onto the screen protector that is on the pen display so the first thing to do is to peel off the protective film that is pasted onto the matte screen protector. So this is the protective film and this is the matte screen protector. The matte screen protector on the Artist 12 Pro is more aggressive so when light is coming in at an angle, it's going to diffuse the light to create some sort of white haze. The screen protector on the 13.3 Pro, it's more reflective so here it doesn't diffuse the light as much and you can still see the individual window grills here. And viewing angle, as you can see from the side, the colors appear to be a bit washed out but usually when drawing you're viewing it straight from the front so the colors from the front, they will appear to be pretty vibrant. And based on my measurement with a color calibrator, this uh, 12 inch model, this is actually 11.6 inch by the way. This supports 97% sRGB, 73% Adobe RGB, and this larger model, it supports 100% sRGB and 84% Adobe RGB. So colors on this larger model, it's better, but uh, on the side by side comparison, it's very difficult to tell the difference. Straight out of the box, the colors, they look good, so you probably do not need any additional color calibration. But if you are using multiple monitors, then you do need to calibrate this to ensure that you are looking at consistent colors across all displays that you use. Now the matte screen protector on this affects sharpness slightly. The display still looks sharp, but the 13.3 Pro looks a bit sharper. And the resolution of this display, it's 1080p, so you will definitely be able to see individual pixels, but it's still a very usable resolution on this 11.6 inch screen. For the brightness, I measured 190 nits, and this larger one, it's 195 nits, so pretty similar. Not the brightest screens around, but for indoor use, definitely more than adequate. Now the drawing area, let's take a look at the drawing area on the 12 Pro. This is an A5 size sketchbook. When placed onto the drawing area, we have a bit more height here and a bit more width here. When I have this on the 13.3 inch Pro, you can see there's a lot more height and a lot more width. So the drawing area here, this is much bigger compared to the 12 Pro and when you are working on a larger area, you can move more easily, if you less constrained and can create more fluid lines. At the time of this review, the Artist 13.3 Pro, it's US $299. This is $50 more compared to the Artist 12, which is US $249. So if you have the budget, the extra $50, I do recommend getting the larger model for the larger and more comfortable drawing area. By the way, if you notice that this screen it's looking a bit darker now, that's because of the viewing angle. When viewed straight on, you are still going to get the 
vibrant colors but again you can see the anti-glare it's uh, showing its effect again other than the drawing area which is smaller on the 12 pro everything else is the same there are still eight physical shortcut buttons the wheel control build quality is the same it's still very solid even driver functionality is the same so I'm just going to use the same video footage I have created for the Artist 13.3 Pro driver functionality here in this video. The driver I'm currently using is version 2.1.3 and this is the driver on Mac OS. On Windows, the driver functionality is essentially the same except with Windows there is the additional option of Windows Ink. So if you have any issues with pressure sensitivity or any of those uh, pen glitches, maybe you want to turn on or off Windows Ink and troubleshoot. But otherwise, um, functionality here is exactly the same as you can find on Windows. So here is where we can configure the pen, the two side buttons, and also the pressure sensitivity. I like that they have included this pressure curve rather than those slider controls. So this allows you to adjust the pressure curve more accurately. Under the monitor tab, it's basically the mapping. So now it's mapped to 100% of my desktop. For the express keys, this is where you can configure keyboard shortcuts to the side buttons on the pen display. There are eight physical shortcut buttons and a dial for you to configure. So you can just click here and select one of the eight buttons and choose from these options available. If you want to set a specific keyboard shortcut, you can just click here, reset customer defined, and this will allow you to enter your own keyboard shortcut. You can also use the shortcut to open an application or open a website, but usually for me, it's just assigned to a specific keyboard shortcut. For the function dial, it's called S1 here and you can choose between these options. There is this option here, choose built-in functions. So with this uh, list of functionality, you can choose what kind of functionality you want, like scroll up, scroll down, zoom in out, brush size. You can um, assign the wheel or the dial for arrow keys, pitch up and down. So I have assigned three functions here, zoom in and out, brush size and scroll up and down. So three functions are assigned to that wheel. Each time I want to change the functionality of this wheel, I can just click this button. I have assigned the function switch to this button here. So each time I click on it, I can see the function change here. It will show you the letters. And when you scroll or use the wheel here, it will also tell you what function you are using. Under the calibration tab, this is where you can rotate the desktop 180 degrees if you are a left-handed user and you need the physical shortcut buttons to go to the other side. And if there is any parallax or misalignment with the mouse cursor and the pen tip, you can click this calibration button to calibrate to remove parallax. I have already calibrated my cursor and the pen tip, so now when I move my pen, the cursor is directly beneath the pen tip wherever it goes on the screen. Drawing performance is the same as 13.3 Pro. Pressure sensitivity works really well. And because this is a laminated display, there is no gap between the pen tip and the cursor beneath. So there is very minimal to no parallax at all. Drawing feels quite responsive. This app that I'm using now, this is Photoshop CC on Mac OS 10.14. The matte screen protector on the 12 Pro, it has more texture. So here it actually feels slightly better in terms of drawing satisfaction. lines they still taper very nicely very gradually the transition from thin to thick is also very smooth and the curves as they turn also very smooth initial activation force is very minimal 
but you do have to press down slightly just a tiny bit to get those lines but it's very good very sensitive drawing very thin lines definitely no problem at all and this is a very sensitive and accurate pen you can draw very slowly and the uh, pen will have no problem registering the pressure and it can give you a very consistent line basically the lines will come out just the way you expect them a 12 inch screen is actually quite nice to work with but if you have the $50 I do recommend you upgrade to the 13 inch which is an even nicer size to work with overall drawing performance is very good and it's the same with the drawing apps that I have tested on Mac OS namely Kritar, Photoshop CC, Clip Studio Paint and Medibank Paint Pro now sometimes when tapping on the screen the dots won't appear but most of the time it just works so not an issue there the pen supports slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity so it's very sensitive and there is also tilt sensitivity so here you can see the cursor the shape of the cursor is following the direction of the pen tip so if I want to have darker shades at the top I can do so if I want it to be at the bottom I can do so now there is one glitch that I discovered so right now I am shading over a large area if I move my pen tip pay attention to the shape of the cursor once I move the pen close to the edge of the display you can see how it changes so for some reason tilt doesn't work um, close to the display which can be an issue if you draw close here but if you draw mostly in the central region then no problem this problem also happens on the 13.3 Pro this pen display does not produce much heat the warmer regions would be around here but you can definitely work on this for long periods of time before I show you the drawing performance on Windows I need to talk about this Windows ink settings from the driver so now I have Windows ink off and with Photoshop there is not going to be any pressure when Windows ink is off so I need to turn it on it's now on and now I have pressure so if there is something weird about your pen settings or pressure sensitivity you may have to toggle Windows ink on or off to troubleshoot so in this case here with Photoshop Windows ink need to be on so after pressure sensitivity is working it works really well now this matte screen protector is actually better compared to the one on the artist 13 Pro I'm not sure why they don't use the same matte screen protector this one has a more paper-like feel to it when drawing because it has more friction it's more matte feeling compared to the one on the artist 13 Pro which is a bit more um, glossy a bit smoother here the lines they taper really well and the transition from thin to thick is also very smooth and this is Kritar so here I have a problem with the strokes that are producing dots and the problem is due to Windows ink so I need to turn off Windows ink for Krita so now the pressure works fine and the lines they come out just the way I want them to so you really do need to troubleshoot uh, with Windows ink if there are any issues with the lines Krita Windows supports tilt sensitivity as well but it has the same problem as the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro which is when the pen is close to the edge of the screen it's going to lose its tilt sensitivity so pay attention to the angle of the cursor and now it loses so now it's vertical which is not the way it should be it should be horizontal like this 
if you're drawing around this area here not an issue but if you draw really close to the edge of the screen then yes you're going to see some problems clip studio paint on windows works really well pressure sensitivity works very nicely you can get thin to thick transitions very easily and the transition is very smooth lines they taper really well and when it comes to drawing dots no problem at all now if there are any issues with the lines like you don't get pressure sensitivity again you have to toggle windows ink on or off or in the case for clip studio paint you may have to troubleshoot with the preferences tablet and toggle wind tap on or off but once you get pressure working it works really well this is the windows version of Minibank paint pro sometimes it works well but sometimes there are some glitches but i am not able to reproduce the glitches uh, as and when i want to because they happen rather randomly so here i don't see any glitches yet pressure sensitivity works fine the lines they can taper very gradually so that's great line transition from thin to thick very smooth i'm not able to reproduce the glitch as and when i want so here i have reproduced this um, glitch manually this is a line drawn with one single stroke and see this straight stroke here and this straight stroke here so this is the glitch i'm talking about it happens once in a while not as often compared to the xp pen artist 13.3 pro for some reason but sometimes it does appear and i tried toggling windows ink on and off um, sometimes the glitch is still appears all right to conclude let me give you the pros and cons i like the build quality it's very solid i like the physical shortcut buttons and the wheel they work very well colors on this display is good up to 97 percent srgb support and the brightness is adequate for use indoors and the screen protector this matte screen protector is actually better compared to the one on the artist 13.3 pro for some reason here it has more texture so it feels nicer to draw on Overall drawing performance is good, more specifically on Mac OS, drawing performance is more consistent with all the various drawing apps that I have tested in this video. On Windows, you may have to do additional troubleshooting if pen pressure is not working. So in my case here, I have to troubleshoot Photoshop, Krita and Clip Studio Paint. And with Midibank Paint Pro, there are some issues uh, with the lines. But all of this is actually related to software and driver, so it's not a hardware problem. After you get pen pressure working, from there onwards, uh, it works fine. So not really a big issue. So that's all I have to say about the XP Pen Artist 12 Pro. If you have more budget, I do recommend getting the larger model, the 13.3 Pro, which will be more comfortable, more, satisfi more satisfying to draw on because of the larger drawing surface. Here with this 12 inch, I feel like it's a bit small. I feel like I'm being restrained when it comes to drawing, but of course, um, when it comes to drawing performance, it still performs very well, just that I prefer drawing on a larger screen. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and do check out the text review in case I have any updates to this video review. Bye.